Happy Monday, everyone, and welcome back, those of you that come here regularly, and welcome to those of you that might be joining us new. Uh, we call them Devos. They're a little bit of time in God's Word where we reflect back on Sunday's topic or message, and today I even want to do that a little bit more specifically, where I literally take you by the virtue of technology back into our service for one of the key points of the entire message. I want you to listen to that first, then I'll come back. We'll chat a bit and I'll pray for your day. I've been feeling like the Lord's been putting a thought on my mind and I figured, why should I just wrestle with it all by myself when I can put it on you too? (laughs) And the thought is this, how often does convenience move me rather than compassion drive me or the other way around? How much does convenience drive me rather than compassion move me? Does that sit heavy on anyone else besides me? That I think about how oftentimes I'm, I'm tilting towards what's convenient. And yet when I read through the gospels, there's a phrase attributed to Jesus and that's this, he was moved with compassion. Say moved. See, he didn't just feel compassion. Compassion moved him to do something. Sometimes he taught, sometimes he healed people, sometimes he went way out of the way to meet an individual person, to have a conversation, to make sure that they knew they were valuable to their their heavenly father. Compassion moved Jesus. And so when I think about wanting to be more like him, I wanna challenge this notion that convenience is the ultimate goal or my own personal happiness or comfort when truly compassion is one of the characteristics of Christ. I often talked about God's purpose for our lives. And I think purpose is a great word because purpose is a clarifying word. Uh, purpose is a motivating word. And so it should actually get us to do something. It, it should move us too. And when you know that your purpose is not just to experience the love and grace of God, but once you know the love and grace of God, your purpose involves extending the love and grace of God to other people. That's our purpose. God has us on this planet to be representatives of heaven to earth in this messy world in which we live. God selected us to be a part of this generation. Do you know that? In this messy story of 2020, 2021, 2022, God selected you and me to be a part of this story this messy world and what God is looking for are people who don't just accept Jesus, but reflect Jesus. So the question about convenience over compassion, I hope you let that sink in all week long. I I wanna keep coming back to it myself. I wanna encourage you to do that. There's so oftentimes things get in our hearts and convenience is one of them where, where we're just often moving towards what's the easier thing? What's the more comfortable thing? And faith often is pushing us out of our comfort zone into the inconvenient. And so today I wanna pray for our hearts. And all week long, take today's prayer and make it part of all week. I think God wants to do something with us as we keep coming back to this Sunday's message, this story, these points, but I wanna begin with the word compassion. So Jesus, help us with that today. I pray for me first. I pray that as you're doing something in my heart and in my mind and stirring me towards wanting to see more friends and family and and loved ones and strangers come to Jesus, I pray that uh, I would have the kind of compassion that moves me. You are moved with compassion. And I pray that over my friends today too. I pray that as so many things move our lives in uh, directions to get jobs done and and uh, score points and have fun. I pray that many of us today would say, Lord, with all of that, add to it that I would be moved with compassion and reflect you to other people. I pray that in Jesus' name, amen. Go and have an awesome rest of your week thinking about compassion.